You're listening to Muldrow Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by TodayInFortSmith.com. We are with TodayInFortSmith.com, and this is championship weekend. We've got the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs against the Roland Lady Rangers about to tip off. We've gone through the starting lineup for Roland. And here come your Lady Bulldogs. And it's standing room only in here, Clint, exactly what we thought. I mean, it's packed. I've never seen this place so packed in my life. Cameron Johnson making her way out to the floor. Here comes Hannah B. Madison Chambers making her way out to the floor now. And last but not least, Shayla Mays, number 33. For those of you who have had me on Facebook, and uh, I'm not going to be on there. (laughs) I have duties to attend to now. Ranger Bob is here. If you can hear him screaming like a banshee, uh, Ranger Bob is in attendance. We looked for him for the longest time. Couldn't find him anywhere. And now we've got Taylor Collins and a little bit of of an unfair matchup here. Destiny Kane's going to be jumping with the six-foot-one Taylor Collins. And the Lady Rangers and Lady Bulldogs are about to tip off. Of course, we've got the cheerleaders right in front of us again. And the ball's up. And there's the tip controlled by the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. And Hannah Boyette bringing the ball up the floor. Already to the left side to Madison Chambers. And Madison looking down low and finds Taylor Collins at the high post. Taylor Mays at the low post. And she's up. And that shot is no good. Madison Chambers already whistled for a foul after the Roland rebound. Three up, says Coach Pratt. Here's full court defense here from the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Madison Chambers, two fouls already in the first uh, 16 seconds of the ball game. So Alicia McCloria is going to come into the ball game for Madison Chambers. And here's the inbound pass. Not a very good uh, referee on the other side. There's Destiny Kane down the floor for the Lady Rangers, and she is going to be whistled for a travel. So this ball is coming back to the Lady Bulldogs. Somebody's trying to get on board for the first time tonight. And Hannah Boyette over to Cameron Johnson on the right side. Johnson to Taylor Collins at the high post. Out to Alicia McClory for three. And that's no good. Rebounded by Destiny Kane and taken away by Taylor Collins. And Taylor's up to two, and that's good. And the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs have the first two points of the night. Lady Bulldogs with that heavy, heavy full-court defense almost took the ball away from the Lady Rangers. Coach Pratt almost all the way out on the floor. Destiny Kane bringing the ball up the floor for Roland. Over to the left side to Sailor Kemp. Back to the middle. Cassidy Floyd over to Harrell. And Harrell got to get rid of the ball. And that's a five-second violation on Kylie Harrell and the Lady Rangers. That's that excellent pressure we always see from this Lady Bulldog defense. Alicia McCloria with the ball out of bounds, inbound to... Hannah Boyette, here comes Hannah, over to McClory on the right side, down to Taylor Collins, and she's at the top of the key. Taylor looking for a drive. Over to McClory, down to Mays, and the ball's going to get knocked away, and the Lady Rangers have possession again. Destiny Kane driving in, passing out to Kylie Harrell for three. No good. Rebounded by Taylor Collins, and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Fast break. Taylor Collins around the back, and she loses it, but gives it up to Taylor Mays. Over to Boyette, over to Cameron Johnson in the right corner. And a pass down the middle. Here's Taylor Mays down low, and she's going to spin around and put up a shot, and that's no good. 
And the Lady Rangers have the ball back. And Caitlin Martinez drives in for the Lady Rangers, and that shot is no good. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Rangers, and it's Muldrow ball. So here's Hannah Boyette bringing the ball up the floor after the rolling turnover. McClory on the left-hand side. She's going to dribble it up, looking for a place to go. Taylor Collins at the high post. Over to Cameron Johnson, and that's a shot for two, and it's good. And the Lady Bulldogs, just like that, are up 4-0. to zero. Hannah Boyette almost stole that ball away but knocked it out of bounds, and the Lady Rangers will keep possession right here. Here's the inbound pass to Martinez. And she makes it past half court, but there is a lot of pressure from the Lady Rangers. Kylie Harrell on the right side looking for a drive, but nowhere to go. She bounces back out and brings it to the top of the key. Over to the right now, and Destiny Kane with a drive and a turnaround jumper, and that's no good. Ball last touched by Shaylin Mays, and that's out of bounds. And Kristen McKinney is going to check into the ball game for Kylie Harrell. Here's the inbound pass from Lady Rangers. Sailor Kemp kicks it out to McKinney. McKinney back to Kemp. Down to Kane, and she throws one up, and that's no good. Rebounded by Alicia McClory. Here come the Lady Bulldogs up the floor. Over to the right to Hannah Boyette. She has not done much in this game yet. Here's Hannah with a drive out to McClory for three, and that's good. And there's going to have a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break, and we will be right back. Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Divine Lines Tattoo Academy has two locations in Fort Smith. They're not only the ultimate destination for all your tattoo, body art, permanent makeup, and microblading needs. They're also an accredited school teaching all four aspects and can help you start a career in the industry. Sherry and the crew located at 6420 Rogers Avenue across from Hooters at 2600 Zero Street across from Walmart. Look forward to visiting with you about your body art or kickstarting your new career as a body artist. Call 4797-TATTOO today. Then we're going to bring you back in live, and here is Martinez bringing the ball down the floor. A lot of pressure from the Lady Bulldogs. Sailor Kemp for three, and that is no good. Rebounded by Destiny Kane, and Destiny's going to get fouled on a putback shot. And the Muldrow cheerleaders are about to get super loud. Destiny Kane at the line for two. And here's her first shot up, and that's good. The Lady Rangers for the first time tonight are on the board, and the score is 7-1. to one. Muldrow with the lead. Here's Destiny Kane with her second attempt. Shots up, and it's good. Lady Bulldogs now with five-point lead, 7-2, 4.08 left in the first quarter. Hannah Boyette bringing the ball up to McCloria. And Destiny Kane is going to get whistled for her first foul of the night. Nope, they're going to call that on Cassidy Floyd. She knocked Hannah Boyette to the floor. And here is McCloria inbound to Hannah Boyette. And Hannah is going to bring the ball up. <laughs> A little misdirection there. Here's Paige Hughes out on the wing. Back to Hannah Boyette. Back to Paige Hughes. She's looking inside. There's Hannah Boyette on the right side. Back to Paige. Taylor Collins at the high post, and she's going to drive and give it to Cameron Johnson. And that shot is up and no good. And the Lady Rangers with the rebound. Moving up the floor, and Hannah Boyette with the steal. And Hannah's going to drive and go up for a shot, and that's no good. <laughs> that foul is going to be on Caitlin Martinez. And Hannah Boyette is going to be at the line for two shots. Hannah's first shot is up and no good. Jaden Strassel is going to check into the game for Cassidy Floyd for the Lady Rangers. 
And here comes Hannah's second shot, and it's up, and it's good. Lady Bulldogs on top now, eight to two with three and a half left in the first quarter. Six point lead. Martinez dribbling down the floor, goes up for a shot, and that's good. Over everybody. Cameron Johnson with the ball now, looking for a place to go with it. And there is McCloria on the right side. And there is Paige Hughes now, top of the key with the ball. And the pass is down low to Taylor Collins, knocked out of bounds by Rowland. <laughs> Dean, Mr. Dean Pratt in the uh, bleachers for the Lady Rangers, not happy with the out of bounds call. Here's Hannah Boyette, inbound pass now to Paige Hughes, back to Hannah Boyette. Back over to the right to Paige. Paige is looking down low. There's Taylor Collins at the low post, and she's going to spin around and send it out to Hannah Boyette for three. And that's good. And here is the inbound pass. Boy, it's a bad night to be from Roland and working for Muldrow. There's going to be a foul on, I believe, Alicia McCoria. <laughs> Lots of action, Dennis. Yeah, I, I think that the um, Roland crowd thought that Collins got away with a walk down here. Might have. Here's Martinez down low, and she throws the ball to Hannah Boyette and the Lady Bulldog. And Hannah Boyette with a drive, and she puts one up and in, and that's good. And Hannah's moving down the floor. Here's Destiny Kane with a shot up. That's no good. Rebounded by Shaylin Mays. And a foul on probably on, was that Kristen McKinney? Might have been Sailor Kemp. Makaya Perryman coming into the game for the Lady Rangers. Yeah, they call that foul on McKinney. And Perryman is always a force to be reckoned with. Here's Taylor Collins, six foot one, bringing the ball down the floor. She posts up for a shot. That's no good. That's a, nothing but air for Taylor Collins. Martinez bringing the ball up the floor for the Lady Rangers. Here's a shot from Makai Perryman for three. That's good. 13 to seven now, Muldrow Bulldogs, Lady Bulldogs lead with 138 left in the first quarter. Hannah Boyette bringing the ball down the floor. And here's a pass over to the right to McCoria. She's looking down low but can't find anything. It's Paige Hughes with the ball and it's loose and the Lady Rangers come up with it. Martinez down the floor for a shot and that gets blocked. And here's Shaylin Mays down the floor. And Shaylin loses the ball. Kai Perryman now bringing the ball up the floor for the Lady Rangers. She's looking for somewhere to go. Moving out top, pass to Martinez. Martinez is going to drive. Shaylin Mays was straight up in the air, not moving, and they whistle her with a foul anyway. But that referee, in all fairness, he did warn... Uh, Coach Armour, when the game started, that he was going to call not in their favor tonight. I mean, that's pretty much what he told her. <laughs> Here's an inbound pass to McKinney, and she is going to spin around, give it up to Perryman. Perryman with a shot for two, and that's no good. Perryman with her own rebound. It goes back up and gets fouled by Taylor Collins. They almost left Perryman open for three again, and that's something else you don't want to do. These Lady Rangers, they're behind, but they can be very, very dangerous. So here's Perryman at the line for two shots. First one's up and good. Cassidy Floyd back in the game. Jaden Strassel taking a seat. Second shot is up and no good, and... Nobody with a rebound. Here's a loose ball. That's going to be a jump, and the Lady Rangers will keep that. 
Our clock keeper needs to get on his toes because the, that eight seconds just ran off the clock again. We saw that in the third place games before. Well, he'll make it up later by not running any time. Or just clock. giving somebody else <laughs> points when they didn't earn them. Here's Makai Perryman, inbound pass. She's bringing the ball up to her side of the floor, over to the right to Cassidy Floyd, back to Sailor Kemp. The Sailor is going to dribble and give it up to Martinez. Martinez looking for a drive. Perryman with the ball on the left wing. She's going to drive, and she's going to bounce back out. Nowhere to go. And a shot up by Perryman is no good. Rebounded by the Lady Rangers, and there's another shot up. That's no good. Rebounded by Sailor Kemp. Another shot up is good. And here come the Lady Bulldogs. Taylor Collins out to Cameron Johnson, and that's no good. Akaya Perryman with the ball, and she's going to throw up a prayer, and that's no good. And at the end of the first quarter, the Lady Bulldogs lead the Lady Rangers 13-10. to 10. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Your search for the vehicle you want at the price you need ends in Roland at Auto Finders, where their pre-qualified credit bankruptcy program and their first-time buyer's opportunities can put you in the driver's seat. You can check out their huge selection at autofindersok.com, fill out an online credit application, and be on the road to a great car buying experience today. Stop by their showroom at 224 East Rayfine Boulevard for great cars with no hassle financing, warranties, and affordable payments. Proud members of the Muldrow Booster Club and Quarterback Club, that's Auto Finders in Roland. Lewis Heating and Air Conditioning is Sequoia County's number one choice for HVAC services. Specializing in commercial and residential service and installation, Lewis Heating and Air Conditioning offers 24-hour service to make sure you and your family are warm and comfortable throughout the winter months. As proud supporters and graduates of Roland High School, the Lewis family would like to invite you to check out their five-star rating and like their page on Facebook at A. Lewis HVAC. Give those a call today at 479-629-0560. Then we're going to bring you back in live. Clint Davis and Dennis McCastle in here. Dennis Keeping up with some stats, and Hannah Boyette is bringing the ball up the floor for the Lady Bulldogs. They will start Madison Chambers back in the game now. Here's the pass down low to Taylor Collins, and she's going to go up for two, and that's good. And Taylor Collins draws the foul. <laughs> she's going to go to the line for an extra shot here. John McKinney, of course, not happy on the rolling side. There's been some shaky calling. I'll give them, I'll give them that much. Here's a shot by Taylor Collins. No good. Sailor Kemp with the rebound. Full court pressure here from the Lady Bulldogs. And now here's a pass to Martinez and shot up. It's no good. And a foul on Alicia McCloria and... That's already 17 fouls on the Lady Bulldogs for the half. Two free throws now for Martinez. First one is no good. Second shot is up, and that's no good. Rebounded by Taylor Collins and the Lady Bulldogs. Down to Hannah Boyette, down to Madison Chambers, down low, and there's a shot up, no good. And here comes Sailor Kemp. And the ball's knocked away, but Sailor retains it. And now here's Martinez with the ball. McClory is going to have to back up if she wants to stay out of foul trouble. And here's a shot by Sailor Kemp for three, and that's good. The Roland fans are awake, and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Down the floor. Madison Chambers with the ball on the right wing. Dribbling down the middle, and there is a shot. No good. Taylor Collins with the rebound. Back to Madison Chambers for another drive. And they're going to call Madison with a travel. And here comes Micaiah Perryman for the Rangers with the ball down the floor. Sailor Kemp on the right. Back to Floyd at the top of the key and over. There's McCloria with that other foul. She's in foul trouble now. They're going to have to replace her, or she will foul out early. That's number three on McCloria. They've only got her marked for two, but that's three. 
One and one now for Martinez. First shot, no good. Rebounded by Taylor Collins. Lady Bulldogs bringing the ball up the floor, and Taylor Collins is going to take it. Shot up is good, two points. Martinez heading down the floor for the Lady Rangers, 17-13. The Lady Bulldogs are in command. And here's a drive and a lost ball. Madison Chambers up the floor to Taylor Collins, and they're going to slow things down a little bit. Over to McCloria for two, and she goes up and gets fouled on the shot. Alicia McCloria going to the line for two shots here. First one is up. That's good. Kylie Harrell, Destiny Kane back into the ball game for Micaiah Perryman and Kristen McKinney. Second shot up for McCloria is no good. Rebounded by the Lady Rangers. Sailor Kemp driving. Shot up is blocked. Madison Chambers recovers that for the Lady Bulldogs. And here comes Muldrow back down to their side of the floor. Hannah Boyette open on the left. Madison off to McCloria. And she's going to dish it off to Hannah Boyette under the basket. Hannah gets hammered down low, and they don't bother calling it. That's out of bounds on Muldrow. Martinez bringing the ball up for the Lady Rangers. And there's a lost ball off of Muldrow. Lady Rangers keep possession, 18 to 13, five-point lead now. And, Clint, you and I talked about this last, uh, the last time we saw Muldrow play. What Muldrow does is they, they never go on a big run and run out away from you. They just pull away gradually. That's what they do. But they're having a hard time doing it right now. They did have a gigantic lead, and they let – Micaiah Perryman come into the game and nail that three, and it was all downhill for the Lady Rangers after that. Here's Floyd over to Kemp, and Kemp with a three-point shot. That's no good. Rebounded by Chambers, and she's going to give it to McCloria. And McCloria can't hold on to that pass, and it's out of bounds, and the Lady Rangers have possession again. Destiny Kane out of bounds. In to Sailor Kemp. Sailor's going to drive over to Floyd, back to Kylie Harrell. Harrell's going to drive back over to Kemp. Kemp looking for a drive now. Out to Kylie Harrell for three, and that's good. 18-16, Lady Bulldogs lead. Alicia McCloria bringing the ball up the floor, over to the left to Kristen. And over to Madison. Madison's up for a shot, and that's good for two. 20 to 16 now, and here come the Lady Rangers looking to close the gap again. Drive by Martinez under the basket and out to Kemp. Kemp and Harold don't know what, what each other is going to do in this play. And now here is Sailor Kemp trying to drive out to Cassidy Floyd, back down to Kane. And Kane is going to give it to. Floyd, and Floyd is going to walk her way to the basket, uncalled, and she's going to score two. Here comes Taylor Collins. And Taylor is going to lose the ball. Nope, she's going to regain the ball. And Cameron Johnson now with the ball, and Cameron is going to dribble up to the top of the key. Over to Taylor Collins. Taylor over to Paige Hughes for three, and that's no good. Here comes Kane up the floor. Out to Martinez, over to Kylie Harrell. She's going to drive. Give it back to Martinez for three. And that's rebounded by Cameron Johnson. And she's going to take it slow for the Lady Bulldogs. Hannah Boyette and Kristen McKinney trying to get back in the game. Micaiah Perryman now trying to come back into the game. 
Cameron Johnson dribbling it around over to Madison Chambers. Back to Johnson. And over to Chambers again. Chambers is going to drive and go up for a shot and get fouled. And Madison Chambers is going to the line for two. Everything's slowing down. Everybody's getting quiet. Madison Chambers' first shot is good. Here comes Strassel, McKinney, Perryman for the Lady Rangers. And Hannah Boyette back in the game for Muldrow. Here's a shot up again for Chambers, and that shot is good. 22 to 18 now. Lady Bulldogs with the lead, and Micaiah Perryman bringing the ball down the floor for Roland. Pass over to McKinney. She's going to dribble to the top of the key and look for a drive, but she's going to give it to Kylie Harrell for three, and that's good. 22 to 21 now. Lady Bulldogs with a one-point lead. And I'm starting to think this game is all going to come down to who wants it more after the half. Here's Madison Chambers to Cameron Johnson over to Paige Hughes. Paige back to Madison. She's going to fake and drive in over to Cameron Johnson. Paige Hughes now with the ball down to Taylor Collins. And that ball gets taken away. Perryman took about nine steps and they didn't bother. Martinez with a drive. Out to Perryman. Perryman with a jump shot, and that is no good. Rebounded by Taylor Collins. Taylor bringing the ball down the floor, and she's going to get fouled by Micaiah Perryman. And go to the line for two shots. Taylor Collins, six foot one. You know where she's at on the floor. Right now she's at the free throw line, and the first shot is up, and that's no good. Coach Pratt calling for a hurry-up offense for the Lady Rangers. Over to the right to Kylie Harrell for three, and that's good. Ranger Bob going crazy with the madness in the stands. Over to Paige Hughes. Cameron Johnson now at the top of the post. Hannah Boyette now with the ball over to Madison Chambers, and she's going to drive and throw the ball away. Timeout on the floor. And the Lady Rangers are going to go to the sideline after a Muldrow timeout. We'll be right back. If you're looking for the cleanest, freshest haircut in the River Valley, look no further than Stephen Doe at the official Primetime Barbershop, voted E. Fort Smith's favorite barbershop of 2017. Located at 4620 Rogers Avenue, Stephen Doe is on duty and on call, ready to shape you up for your next special occasion. For haircuts, beard trims, hot towel treatments, or a straight razor shave, call Stephen Doe today at 479-434-2539. Then we're going to bring you back in live, ready to roll here with one minute, 12 seconds left in the half. And the rolling Lady Rangers with their lead, first lead of the game, 24 to 22, and the possession now. And here's a drive by Martinez. Kylie Harrell with the hot hand already tonight. Here's Martinez driving in, and there's two more points good for the Lady Rangers. And here comes Hannah Boyette down the floor for the Lady Bulldogs. Paige Hughes now looking for somewhere to go, and Cameron Johnson with a shot for two, and that's good. 38 seconds left. The Lady Bulldogs are down 26 to 24. Makai Perryman driving to the basket. Shot up. No good. Rebounded by... Nobody. (laughs) There's a foul called on Strassel, I believe, for the Lady Rangers. That is her second foul of the game, and the Lady Bulldogs will have the ball back with a two-point 
deficit and 28.4 seconds left in the game. Both teams with 18 fouls here for the last 28.4 seconds. That's, that's a lot. Everybody's one and one unless they get fouled on the three-point line or a shot down low. Cameron Johnson, first free throw is up and good. She will get a chance to score her second point here. From the free throw line. Second shot is up and good. Tie ball game, 26 everybody, 28 seconds left in the second half. I mean in the first half, sorry, the first uh, second quarter. Sailor Kemp looking for a drive for the Lady Rangers to turn around. Ball's knocked away and possession regained by Muldrow. And here comes Cameron Johnson down the floor. Down to Taylor Collins. And Taylor is going to give it to Madison Chambers with a shot up and good. That's going to do it for the half. And with a two point bucket there by Madison Chambers, the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs take a 28 26 lead. Two points here. Is all they've got on them, and we're going to take a quick break. Dennis is compiling stats. We're going to hear from some of our sponsors, and we will be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by TodayInFortSmith.com. Man, we're going to bring you back in live. That was a definitely a fast minute and 50 seconds. I had enough time to drink a little bit of water and listen to a story from Dennis. And now... The I'll second tell you half. A story every now and then. <laughs> I I will not argue with that. <laughs> Here come the uh, Lady Rangers. They will have possession out of bounds. They are shooting at the goal underneath us. Dennis looks like he's feeding the birds with his popcorn over here. And here come the Lady Rangers in the second half. Destiny Kane over to Harrell. Back to Kane, and she's going to give it up to Martinez. Over to Floyd in the corner and back out the middle. Picked off by the six foot one Taylor Collins, and she's up for two, and that's no good, but there is a foul. Taylor Collins going up for two points. I mean, I'm sorry, they're going up for two free throws here. And of course, we well, I can't forget this. We do have Amy Beakley in the chat room. Amy's not she's not able to make it to away games. I graduated with Amy, went to school with her my entire life, class of 2000. And she's listening live. She has been pretty much for the whole tournament. So thank you, Amy. There is the first shot up and good by Taylor Collins. Second shot is up and good. And the Lady Rangers have a four-point lead to start the second half. Here comes Destiny Kane. And she is going to get fouled by... I don't like when they turn their backs to us and show a number. Uh, Taylor Collins, that's her first foul of the game, so she's got wiggle room on these fouls. Here comes Destiny Kane. Up the floor, Sailor Kemp up the middle with a shot. That's no good. Rebounded by Sailor Kemp. Martinez for three, and that's no good. And Hannah Boyette, one of the smartest young players I've ever seen. She lets that roll right out of bounds. Didn't even go for it. Madison Chambers inbound pass to Hannah Boyette. Up to Taylor Collins in the middle. Taylor over to Cameron Johnson for a two-point shot. No good. And rebounded by two players. And that's going to be a jump ball. And it will stay with Muldrow. And, Clint, when during the Tournament of Champions, we were visiting with a coach from Oklahoma City uh, that had uh, um, has been looking at Hannah. I think they're looking at Hannah Boyette. Down in Chickasha. Down in Chickasha. And I think the coach is here, actually. Oklahoma uh, School for Science and Arts. I think think that coach is here tonight. So the Lady Rangers get the ball back. And Shaylin Mays ties it up with the possession pointing to Roland, which is a smart play because now the next time there's a tie-up, it will point back to the Lady Bulldogs. Martinez with the ball. Harrell in the corner over to Sailor Kemp. Back to Martinez, and she's going to drive and go up for a shot, and that's no good. 
They're going to call Shaylin Mays for an over the back foul. I'm, Mays was standing there like a brick wall, and the girl just ran into her, and I was afraid they were going to call a foul then. And yeah, they laid off of that one, but they did call one over the back. Martinez is so far open over on the right side, and they finally dish it to her, but that's only after uh, Coach Greg Pratt calls a timeout. And since he did that, we're going to take one with him. We'll be right back. Serving Sequoia County and the surrounding region for almost 30 years, Sparkman Animal Clinic is a full-service mixed animal veterinary clinic for all your small and large animal needs. Located between Muldrow and Roland on Highway 64, Doctors Terry Sparkman, Coulter Smith, and the caring staff provide complete care and treatment for your pets, offering everything needed to keep them happy and healthy. They even make house calls to treat your livestock. Call Sparkman Animal Clinic at 427-7606 or see their website at www.sparkmananimalclinic.com. Com. And then we're going to bring you back in live. The timeout is over. Lady Bulldogs coming back down to their, the Lady Rangers side of the floor. And the Lady Rangers with the inbound pass over to the right. Kylie Harrell for three, and that's no good. Hannah Boyette with the rebound around the back, and she's going to bring the ball up the floor over to Madison Chambers. Down to Taylor Collins with a spin around and a jumper, and that's good. Lady Bulldogs up now, 32 to 26. And here's a takeaway by Cameron Johnson, and she's on a fast break. And Cameron takes too many steps and gets whistled for the travel. Coach Pratt not happy. Here come the Lady Rangers down the floor. Down the middle to Sailor Kemp. Over to the right to Kylie Harrell. Sailor Kemp again. Shot up is no good. And they're going to get Sailor Kemp with a travel. I honestly did not see that, but I'm not going to argue with it. Hannah Boyette, the ball is inbound. Full court pressure here from the Lady Rangers. Over to Chambers and back to Boyette. Over to Taylor Collins, and she's going to drive. Spin around, and that's no good. Sailor Kemp with the ball. Martinez with the drive, and there's a shot up and good. And two more points for the Lady Rangers. Here comes Hannah Boyette up the floor, and she's going to give it to Madison Chambers. Down to Shaylin Mays. Nobody is looking at each other. Kemp hit that bucket on the sin, made her seventh point of the game. That's the first points of the second half for the Lady Rangers. Lady Rangers bringing the ball back up the floor here after it was last touched by the Bulldogs. McKinney, pass nearly picked off. Kicked out of bounds. <laughs> And I mentioned this in the last game. I played a lot of baseball against Greg Pratt growing up, but I've never never seen him this animated in my life. And here's Sailor Kemp down low to Floyd, and that's knocked out of bounds by Hannah Boyette. Boy, it said, get that nonsense out of here. Nah, not in my house. <laughs> Coach Pratt's going to be without a voice when this game's over with. Yes. Inbound pass here by the Lady Rangers. Martinez driving in. Shot up is blocked. Shaylin Mays whistled for her fourth foul. She's going to have to come out of the game. Half the crowd happy and half the crowd's upset. Martinez with a shot up. It's no good. With Mays going out and McCoury coming back in, you trade some of that inside presence for that outside threat. Second shot now coming from Martinez is up and good. 32 to 29. 
With five minutes left in the third quarter, ball over to Madison Chambers, over to McCloria, back to Cameron Johnson. Cameron drive with a jump shot, and that's no good. Rebound by Taylor Collins. Back up for two, and that's no good. But Taylor Collins draws the foul, and she will go to the line for two shots. And Taylor Collins getting set up for free throws. Here's the first shot up, and that's good. 33-29 to 29 now. Lady Bulldogs with the lead. 4.41 left in the third. Three team fouls for Muldrow, two team fouls for Roland. Here's the second shot up, and that is no good. And here's Hannah Boyette with a steal, and Hannah goes up for a shot and gets fouled. And now Hannah's going to the line for two shots. And this really goes for both teams. If they're going to want to stay in this ball game, they have got to make these free throws. There's Hannah's first shot up and good. I was just getting ready to say, Taylor's struggling a little bit from free throw line. She's only three of seven so far in That's this one. Not good. There's uh, Hannah Boyette with her second free throw up and in good. 4.36 now in the third quarter. 35 to 29, six point lead for the Lady Bulldogs and Lady Rangers having a problem getting the ball around. And here is a stolen ball by the Lady Bulldogs and there is a jump ball. You know, and that's what I talked about earlier, that steady pulling away by the uh, Lady Bulldogs. What, what the, they're willing to trade Two points for four points. They'll get four, give you two. They'll get four, give you two. And there was a possession arrow pointed toward Muldrow, so they will have the ball here. Hannah Boyette bringing it up the floor over to McCloria on the left side. McCloria back over to Madison Chambers, and Madison takes a shot from the free throw line, and that's good. 37 to 29 now, eight point lead for the Muldrow Lady Bulldogs. Martinez coming up the floor with the ball, having a hard time getting it anywhere, and Sailor Kemp now goes up for a shot and gets fouled, and the shot is good. So Sailor Kemp puts the Lady Rangers over the 30-point mark. In the midst of chaos, Eric Kemp just made a good basketball move, spun out. And there was two defenders there. She gets fouled, picks up the bucket. Sailor Kemp with her free throw attempt, and that's up and good. Taylor Collins inbound to Hannah Boyette. Hannah bringing the ball up the floor. Timeout. Lady Bulldogs, we're going to take it with them, and we'll be right back. The Sequoia County Farm Bureau, located at 105 East Ray Fine Boulevard in Roland, Oklahoma, assists area youth by supporting the county fair and livestock shows, promoting agri-education, and funding a scholarship program. Your Sequoia County Farm Bureau supports farmers and ranchers at all levels by offering insurance and other programs. Call 918-427-3421 to explore all of the benefits your Sequoia County Farm Bureau has to offer. And we're back with you live now. And the timeout is over. I've got folks texting me, asking me to call them. It's going to be a while. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got this second half here in the championship game of the ladies' side. The ladies. In the Sequoia County Area Classic. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs on top, 37-32, to five-point lead, 3.30 left in the third quarter. And up next, we have the running Rangers of Roland up against the Vian Wolverines. And that's going to be a shootout. Roland has scored, uh, what, 90 points in their first game? Yep. 84 in their second game. Nobody has touched that. 
Madison Chambers inbound pass to Taylor Collins. Collins, Johnson, Boyette, Chambers, McCloria in the game for Lady Bulldogs. And here is Taylor Collins under the basket. And Taylor is going to step out of bounds. And that's going to be Roland Ball, Micaiah Perryman back in the game now for the Lady Rangers. Bringing the ball up the floor. And here's Cassidy Floyd. Martinez out top. Back to Perryman at the top of the key. Sailor Kemp at the top of the key. Over to Perryman. Perryman back to Martinez. And she wanted an NBA three, but she's going to give it back to Perryman. And Perryman with a drive and almost got it knocked away. Martinez with a three-point shot, and that's good. Two-point lead now for the Lady Bulldogs, 37-35. to And here's Hannah Boyette with a drive, and that's a shot up and no good. But she draws the foul. Hannah Boyette starting to use her mind in this game. And she knows when they need points, she needs to go to the line. Coach Pratt. Hannah Boyette's first shot is up and good. Coach Pratt is fired up. Strassel back in the game now for Cassidy Floyd. And Boyette's now four of five from the free throw line. Boyette, second shot, up and good. Inbound pass, Makaya Perryman trying to bring the ball up the floor for the Lady Rangers. She's got a lot of pressure on her. Pass picked off by Hannah Boyette on a fast break and shot up is good. Lady Bulldogs pull ahead 41 to 35. There's going to be a timeout on the floor by Roland, and we're going to take it with them. We will be right back. Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Divine Lines Tattoo Academy has two locations in Fort Smith. They're not only the ultimate destination for all your tattoo, body art, permanent makeup, and microblading needs. They're also an accredited school teaching all four aspects and can help you start a career in the industry. Sherry and the crew located at 6420 Rogers Avenue across from Hooters at 2600 Zero Street across from Walmart. Look forward to visiting with you about your body art or kickstarting your new career as a body artist. Call 4797-TATTOO today. And we're going to bring you back in live. They're probably about to hit that buzzer. Boy, do I know basketball or what. And the cheerleaders are going to come back over here and take a break from their screaming. Coach Pratt not going to take a break from his. From their enthusiastic team support. You know what? I don't blame him. There's been a lot of <laughs> a lot of miscues. A lot of uh, I've seen a lot of open lanes uh, cut to the basket. It should have been passed down low, and the Lady Rangers haven't taken advantage of that. Makai Perryman with the ball, tied up by McCloria, and the ball will stay with the Lady Rangers, which is good for the Lady Bulldogs because the Lady Rangers already had possession, and now if there's another tie-up, it will go back to Muldrow. Makai Perryman with the ball at the top of the key. Over to Martinez, and she's going to try to drive and bounce back out. Back to Perryman. Back to Martinez, and she's going to drive, and the shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Strassel, shot no good. Cameron Johnson with the rebound, and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Hannah Boyette wide open like a 7-11 on the left side, and nobody gives her the ball. Cameron Johnson whistled for a foul. Lady Rangers bringing the ball back up to their side of the court. McKinney over on the left side, and there's a picked off pass by Taylor Collins. And she goes up for a shot and gets hammered under the basket. And the Roland fans, they know that's a foul, but they don't care. 
<laughs> Should have been a jump ball, he says. All right, when you get hammered under the basket, there's no jump ball necessary. Here's a shot up by Taylor Collins. First free throw is no good. She yeah. is struggling today. When they hug you around the waist, it's not a jump ball. <laughs> McKinney out of the ball game after that bad pass and a turnover. Micaiah Perryman also out of the game for the Rangers. The ladies, here's the second shot up, is good by Taylor Collins. And Destiny Kane bringing the ball back up the floor. Another steal by Taylor Collins, and a shot up is no good. But she does get fouled again, Taylor Collins. Going back to the line, and one of the Ranger fans, one of the, actually one of the parents that people may be hearing over our uh, loud microphones here, Kristen McKinney's dad, he sent me a message the other night, and he said a whistled foul is no good if you don't hit the free throws, and he's right. Taylor Collins with her... I don't know how many she's missed now, but there's another missed free throw. First one of those two is out. And she's going to try for another. Shots up, and it's good. She's 43-35 to 35 now. Lady Bulldogs lead with 1.16 left in the third quarter. Martinez bringing the ball up the floor. Stolen by Taylor Collins. But they call a foul on Taylor Collins. No, they call a foul on Hannah Boyette. The Muldrow fans are, um, I don't know, displeased. I don't know, it might be the word. Destiny Kane here for the Lady Rangers over to Sailor Kemp. Sailor with nowhere to go. Over to Martinez, and Martinez is going to give the ball to Kane. Kane down into Kemp, and Kemp with a shot up, and that's no good. Rebound by Kemp. Out to Martinez for three, and that's good. 43-38 to 38 now. No, they just gave her two on that, two-point shot. 43-37. to 37. Lady Bulldogs lead. 25 seconds left now in this third quarter. Madison Chambers on the right side. Out to Hannah Boyette, over to Alicia McCloria. Back to Hannah Boyette at the top of the key. Back to McCloria. Hannah Boyette gets thrown to the ground and nobody says a word. Back to Cameron Johnson for three, no good. That's going to do it here in the third quarter. We're headed to the fourth. This is it. This is what the championship comes down to. The Muldrow Lady Bulldogs with eight minutes left in the game are up 43-37. to We're going to take a break, and we will be right back on todayinfortsmith.com. Lewis Heating and Air Conditioning is Sequoia County's number one choice for HVAC services. Specializing in commercial and residential service and installation, Lewis Heating and Air Conditioning offers 24-hour service to make sure you and your family are warm and comfortable throughout the winter months. As proud supporters and graduates of Roland High School, the Lewis family would like to invite you to check out their five-star rating and like their page on Facebook at A. Lewis HVAC. Give those a call today at 479-629-0560. Your search for the vehicle you want at the price you need ends in Roland at Auto Finders, where their pre-qualified credit bankruptcy program and their first-time buyer's opportunities can put you in the driver's seat. You can check out their huge selection at autofindersok.com, fill out an online credit application, and be on the road to a great car buying experience today. Stop by their showroom at 224 East Ray Fine Boulevard for great cars with no hassle financing, warranties, and affordable payments. Proud members of the Muldrow Booster Club and Quarterback Club, that's Auto Finders in Roland. And we're back with you live. The Muldrow Lady Bulldogs taking the ball out to start this fourth quarter. We are winding down. Collins with 14 points. Boyette with 12 to this point. Inbound pass to McClory over to Boyette. Pick set. Boyette's going to drive. Back out to Collins. Collins up for two, and that's no good. 
Sailor Kemp with the rebound for the Lady Rangers over to Destiny Kane. And over to Martinez for three, and that's no good. Rebounded by Madison Chambers. Lady Bulldogs bringing the ball up the floor. And Madison over to Taylor Collins. Nobody knows what's going on, and that pass is going to be thrown away. Here come the Lady Rangers. Kylie Harrell over to Destiny Kane. Back out to Martinez. And Martinez with a shot up. That's no good. Rebounded by <laughs> the Lady Bulldogs. And Hannah Boyette with the ball over to Madison Chambers. Cameron Johnson over to McCloria, back to Chambers in the corner. Over to Taylor Collins at the top of the post, and she is going to look for a drive, I know. There's a shot up, and that's no good. Rebounded by the Rangers. And here come the Roland ladies down the floor. Shot up, no good. It's out of bounds, and it's going to be Lady Bulldogs' ball. Hannah Boyette bringing the ball up the floor. Ball kicked out to the right side. Hannah Boyette in the corner. Madison Chambers now with the ball. She's going to drive, and McCloria back to Taylor Collins. Back to Madison Chambers, and she's going to drive. Shot is up and good. Madison Chambers is almost automatic when she touches that ball. Lady Bulldogs lead 45 to 37. Shot by Kylie Harrell for three is no good. Rebound with a shot back up by Sailor Kemp. No good, but there is a whistle and a foul. And the Lady Rangers now with an opportunity at two free throws. First shot by Sailor Kemp is up and no good. Second shot is up, and that's no good. Rebounded by Taylor Collins. Two big missed opportunities for the Roland Lady Rangers. Taylor Collins kicks it out to McCloria. Back to Boyette. She has not taken a three-point shot in this game, which is highly rare for her. And Hannah's going to drive, and there's a shot up, and that's no good. She got her own rebound and put it up, and that is good. Ten-point lead now for the Lady Rangers. I'm sorry, for the Lady Bulldogs, 47-37. to Five seventeen left in the fourth quarter. Harrell back to Kane. Kane back to Martinez. Martinez back to Kane. Kane to Martinez with a drive, and there's a shot up, no good. Rebounded by Madison Chambers. Madison's going to bring the ball up the floor for the Lady Bulldogs. Over to Hannah Boyette, and back to Chambers. Down to the high post. Down to the low post, Cameron Johnson with a shot up, and no good. Lady Rangers bringing the ball up the floor. Martinez down to Kemp, and shot is up and no good. With her own rebound and a shot up and no good. And Hannah Boyette with a rebound. So Sailor Kemp, a rebound and two missed shots down low for the Lady Rangers. Here come the Lady Bulldogs. 425 left now in the fourth. Here's Madison out to McCloria for three. No good. Rebounded by Sailor Kemp. And Martinez now with the ball on the three-point line, and she is going to dribble around and give it back to Sailor Kemp with a drive. (laughs) Sailor Kemp took a lot of extra steps there, but that is a jump ball. Shaylin Mays is coming back in the ball game. She's got one foul to give. But I don't think Shaylin has made one shot down low all night. Mays has yet to score in this one. Inbound pass is picked off and lost, and another jump ball, and that's going back to the Lady Bulldogs. (laughs) 
Inbound pass to Boyette. And Hannah bringing the ball up the floor for the Lady Bulldogs. Down to Shaylin Mays. She's going to spin around and put up a shot. That's good. 21. Timeout on timeout on the floor now, and we are going to take it with them. We'll be right back. Lewis Heating and Air Conditioning is Sequoia County's number one choice for HVAC services. Specializing in commercial and residential service and installation, Lewis Heating and Air Conditioning offers 24-hour service to make sure you and your family are warm and comfortable throughout the winter months. As proud supporters and graduates of Roland High School, the Lewis family would like to invite you to check out their five-star rating and like their page on Facebook at A. Lewis HVAC. Give those a call today at 479-629-0560. And we're going to cut you back in live. Kristen McKinney checking into the game for the Lady Rangers. The Muldrow cheerleaders, thankfully, are coming back over to their <laughs> They're going to take a break for a second. So hard to talk over 16, 18 screaming girls over here. But we appreciate the job they do. If we can just get one of those wicked awesome Armstrong Bank t-shirts that I've been asking for since the first night of the tournament. Those are pretty cool. Inbound pass here. The Lady Rangers have the ball. And a 12-point deficit with 3.38 left in this ball game. McKinney's got the ball now, and she's over to Kane. And Kane back to McKinney. Kristen back over, and it's back over to McKinney. Ball knocked out of bounds by Madison Chambers. Inbound pass to Destiny Kane. Shot up by Kemp is no good. Rebounded by the Lady Bulldogs, and I uh, believe the ball was knocked out of bounds by McKinney, and <laughs> inbound pass here by the Lady Bulldogs. I'm enjoying the jaw jacking by both sides. It's been consistent and constant, hasn't it, from both Ta sides of the Taylor Collins now with a charge. The Lady Rangers are going to get the ball back here. Lady Rangers are still, still down by 12. This is great. Kylie Harrell inbound pass to Destiny Kane. 2.58 now, under three minutes left in this ball game. Mulder Lady Bulldogs up 49 to 37. Destiny Kane with a shot up after the drive. Rebound by Taylor Collins. Taylor's driving. And there's a shot up no good. She got her own rebound and put another shot up, and that is good. 51 to 37 now. Two and a half minutes left in the ball game. 18 fouls by Muldrow, 16 fouls by Roland. Harrell over to Kemp, back to Harrell. Back to McKinney, down to Martinez in the corner for two, and that's good. Well, they're going to give her three on that. I saw a foot way over that line. Ball knocked out of bounds by Roland. Paige Hughes is coming into the game for McCloria. Paige Hughes inbound pass to Taylor Collins. Taylor's got the ball over to the right to Paige Hughes. Oh, she was wide open. Paige down to Shaylin Mays at the low post. Turn around with a jumper, and that's good. Yeah. 
Sailor Kemp and Jalen Mays doing a lot of pushing down there, and the referee calls them both over. A lot of pushing, a little jawing going on. I mean, this is Roland and Muldrow. I mean, if we get out of here without a fight, we're going to be good to go. Roland parents upset. Muldrow students loving it. 13-point lead for the Lady Bulldogs. Minute 45 seconds left here. Destiny Kane with a drive and a shot up. The shot's no good. Paige Hughes with the foul down low. Destiny Kane going to the line for two. And I don't know if people understand, Dennis, but there are literally people standing up and down uh, the sections of stairs. Yeah, it's it's definitely packed in here. Inside Muldrow's gym, the Roger Sharp Activity Center, it's, I mean, the people are standing everywhere. Here's the shot up. No good, rebounded by Hannah Boyette. So one free throw good, one free throw not. 53-41. to 41. Lady Bulldogs lead, Hannah Boyette almost loses the ball. And she is going to drive and dish it off to Paige Hughes, and that ball goes out of bounds. I will say this, Clint, if we were grading both these teams on a A to F on their field goal percentages, all these girls would be in summer school after this game. I guarantee it. <laughs> Been a lot of missed shots. Martinez. Almost loses the ball. Destiny Kane with it now. Sailor Kemp over to Martinez. Martinez over to Kemp with a shot for three. No good. Rebounded by Hannah Boyette. Less than a minute now in the ball game. Muldrow Lady Bulldogs up by 12, and they will be the champions of the Sequoia County Area Classic. There is a foul, and that's going to be number seven on... The Lady Rangers and Hannah Boyette will go to the line for one and one. And the Lady Bulldogs have had a lot to prove, Dennis. Uh, you know, coming back last week after that second place uh, finish there in the Tournament of Champions in Tulsa, they did not want to come in second place in another tournament. First shot Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And if you stop and think about it, Quinn, when it's all said and done, second place in that tournament was a pretty good accomplishment. Second place in that tournament is, is damn near first in the state. Here's the second shot after the first good free throw, and that's good. Lady Rangers have given it almost everything they've got. Destiny Kane, shot up no good, rebound by Paige Hughes, the smallest lady on the floor. You know, Clint, what I talked about there, just that steady, pulling away, two and three points at a time. And that's what they did. Here's Hannah Boyette with the ball out top. Muldrow fans are on their feet. They know they've got champions. Eighteen seconds left now. Hannah Boyette still dribbling the ball around the side. She's going to hang on to it. Two seconds left in this ball game, and that's going to do it. The Muldrow Lady Bulldogs are the champions for the ladies' side of the Sequoia County Area Classic Tournament for 2018. And we pretty much predicted that, but, you know, they got to play the game for a reason. The scoreboard has been cleared, so I, I don't even remember what the final score was. Did you get that, Dennis? 58-42, wasn't it? 58-47, no. Maybe, I, I don't yeah, remember. I think it was. We'll figure it out. Folks, they're going to do the trophy presentation. We're going to take a break. We're going to listen to our sponsors, and we will be right back. You're listening to Muldrow Bulldogs Basketball, presented by Divine Lines Body Art Studio and Academy in Fort Smith, and brought to you by todayinfortsmith.com. 